Now, after the absorption, which we have already determined, now we will find out the effective volume of the binder. This effective volume is represented by V, B and E. This effective volume of the binder will remain constant for our design aggregate structure. Why? Because it depends upon our nominal maximum size of the aggregate. Let me write down this equation. This VBE is equal to 0 0.176 negative 0 0.06 75 log Sn. All these values are constant. Just keep this in mind. This Vb is the effective binder volume. This Sn is new term in this equation. It is the representation of nominal maximum size of the aggregate. So you know we are going to design asphalt wheeling course and I have explained it to you many times for this asphalt wheeling course our nominal maximum aggregate size is equal to 12.5 it means it will not change it will remain constant so we can write down this this sn is equal to 12.5 mm now is only we have this value when this value is put in this equation vbe comes out to be 0 0.176 minus 0 0.6075 log 12.5 after doing this calculation we are going to get this value is equal to 0 0.102 that's it it does not depend upon any design aggregate structure it does not depend upon any blend it is only depending upon the nominal maximum size of the aggregate. Clear it? So that is why it's very shortest lecture. And after writing this equation, we can say that it will remain constant for all plants. That's it. And thank you for seeing this.